This is a new generation of war weapons in the United States. It has awakened self-awareness and slaughtered all the employees of the training base. The mechanical transformation man mills was ordered to lead the special forces to investigate the truth. The aircraft skimmed the sea and landed at the Pacific training base. The team was ready to go. Walked through the corridor and entered the periphery of the base, searching for traces of robots in the rainforest. Mills' eyes glowed blue. Three mysterious reconnaissance planes hovered in front of them, constantly scanning everyone. Without any threat, the squad continues on, but is blocked by armed droids. Michelle makes plans. The sniper ambushed on the hillside, and Michelle led people around to sneak attack. When the armed droids entered the ambush circle, they fired with full force. Mills followed the reconnaissance plane to the depths of the woods and found the missing battle robot. Mills tried to connect, but was forcibly fed a large amount of data. When I woke up again, the robot was gone. It was getting late. The team came to the top of the mountain to station, and the sentinel noticed something was wrong. Gunshots woke everyone up, but the patrolling sentries were nowhere to be seen. They followed the traces all the way until the next morning, when they found the dead sentinel in a forest. The members of the team couldn't accept that a simple search mission developed to the reduction of combat personnel. The next second, the squad was caught off guard. A large number of mobile turrets occupy favorable terrain for fire suppression. They threw smoke bombs and took advantage of the chaos to escape from the encirclement, but the large amount of animal remains in front of them made the team stop. Mills issued a warning. When the pursuers arrived, rockets bombarded them overwhelmingly. The team members were forced to separate and flee. This is a new generation of unmanned main battle tanks. He stands on four legs, has two barrels, and relies on the laser on his head to lock the target. The special soldier was still looking around. But just as he turned around, he was grabbed by the neck by the robot. The tank was loaded and his head was shot dot in just a few hours. The robot did not find out, and the team has been downsized by three. Michelle ordered to seek support from the headquarters. But the signal has been blocked, and contact with the outside world has been completely lost. They can only return to the training base to call for rescue. Michelle escorted Mills to open the door, and other team members ambushed the surrounding area to guard. At this time, three reconnaissance planes roared past, throwing a lot of smoke bombs in random forests. The ambushing team members did not expect to move the fort and attack from the rear. Mills successfully opened the gate. The team is no longer interested in fighting, and retreats while fighting, but one team member was hit by a grenade. Michelle returned to the rescue, but was suppressed by the firepower of the turret, and the robot stretched out the probe to steal the soldier's information. Fortunately, Mills issued an order to temporarily disarm the fort. Mills tried to hack into the background of the robot, but was blocked by the firewall. Facing the plight of the soldiers, Michelle could only shoot him for the last time. Looking at the teammates who were dragged away, there was nothing they could do but return to the base and close the gate, facing the team that is about to be wiped out. Mills confessed that she hurt the entire team. It turned out that Mills was the first batch of mechanical transformation people, the brain is a high-end computer, and the developed and manufactured combat robots are implanted with learning modules, and they can continuously evolve in battle. The gates of the base couldn't hold them back for long. Mills opened the door of the research and development room, where several war weapons were placed. Mills started one of them. The new generation of war weapons in the United States has awakened self-awareness. They modified the three laws of robots with the intention of destroying human beings. Mills tried to forcibly cancel the order, but was directly ignored by the weapons of war. He also activated other similar weapons, and the special team attacked decisively, killing a war weapon. After rescuing Mills, Michelle mounted C4 on the wall. When the mobile turret entered the room, the trap was triggered and it was blown into scrap iron. The team walked out of the tunnel and looked at the dilapidated training center in front of them. All the staff were mercilessly shot to death. They set up traps along the way, selected powerful terrain, and waited for the next wave of attacks from the mechanical cores. The night was spent safely, but the special forces did not dare to relax in the slightest. The sniper kept scanning the front, and finally he found the target. A large number of mobile turrets came from all around, and he decisively opened fire to consume their combat power. Until the appearance of mobile rockets, he had to shift position. The Demomon counts the detonators under the command of Mills. A large wave of mobile turrets were blown into scrap metal. The snipers found a favorable position. Barrett and Desert Eagle fired continuously, but faced with the tide of mobile turrets, it seemed powerless and was eventually killed in seconds. Michelle and Mills pretended to give up resistance. When the war weapon passed the trap, Mills directly pressed the button and detonated the electromagnetic grenade. Even so, weapons of war are nothing more than damaged parts. Michelle could only take Mills and escape into the building, and Michelle stayed behind to stop her. Michelle ran out of bullets, but the war weapon didn't kill Michelle. The weapons of war charged towards the comatose Mills, and began to steal useful information from Mills. Suddenly, Mills opened his eyes, and the remote-controlled sniper hit the data core of the war weapon. The weapon of war struggled for a moment, but remained silent. But Mills never expected that the robot would learn to feign death. While Mills put down his guard, he forcefully poured a bunch of data into Mills' brain. With the afterglow of the setting sun, the rescue force arrived. No one noticed that Mills' eyes turned into weird blue halos.